Hi, it's Chicken Bone John here, and I just want to talk a little bit about playing a blues shuffle. Now, I was prompted to do this by watching a couple of people recently putting up things on YouTube, and I don't want to knock people uh, and be critical of them because it's great that people are giving it a shot. But it did occur to me, uh, and it reminded me of the fact that it's very difficult to get the rhythm going when you're sort of playing by yourself, you haven't got an, uh, an accompanist to keep the beat or, or set you in the right direction. And also, I'd like to pass on uh, a little a few words of wisdom that I heard from Kevin Brown. And Kevin Brown received these words of wisdom from Son House. If you don't know who Son House is, check him out. One of the great old time blues guitarists. But he was talking about playing slide guitar. And he's saying it don't matter, let's paraphrase this, but he said it don't matter what sort of shit you're playing on with your slide, it doesn't mean anything unless you got some rhythm to put it over. It's all about the rhythm, boy. Uh, and he went on to say, I think that also doesn't matter, also doesn't matter what you play, you need a song to hang it on. So the slide part of your playing really needs to have a solid foundation in rhythm. So I'm not going to play like Sunhouse because I can't play like Sunhouse. But I was taught by Kevin Brown, who also learned from Sunhouse. So it's about as direct as you can get to the old school style of stuff. Now, we're going to do a blues shuffle, a slow shuffle. Now, a lot of people don't really understand what this is, but we're going to be playing in like four, four time. Four beats to the bar. One, two, three, four. Now, if you're playing a sort of Western style, uh, it sounds very what I call square. And I hear a lot of people playing like this, where it's just... See what I was doing? I was just going up and down, up and down, up and down, or down and up, with the same emphasis on the beat. And that ain't a shuffle. Uh, it sounds very dead to my ears. Let's see if I can get this in shot a little bit. So it's this, it's this one, two, three, four. But there's two things uh, which I think help when you're playing. One is when we're just going to strum. Uh, actually, I think I'll use a plectrum because I've, I've broken a fingernail, a piece of timber dropped on my finger and I've sort of lost the fingernail. Because what I usually do is I sort of hold my, you can see how nasty that is. I usually hold, pinch my finger and thumb together as if I was playing with a plectrum and just flip it up and down. But I'm just going to use a plectrum. I've got a stiff uh, bone plectrum. I've got a hard bone plectrum here. And what I'm going to do... I'm just going to go up and down. If you can see what I'm doing, I rock this. So I, I'm not attacking it. I'm just strumming all three strings and letting the pick naturally glide over the strings. And we're going to go up, down, up. So we're starting on an up beat. That's the important thing. We're going to go up, down, up, down, up, down, up down don't worry about this hand this hand we're not worried about at the moment we're not going to be doing much with it anyway the important thing is this up down up down up down i'm going to add a couple of things i won't go too fast if you look where my hand is i put this part of my hand on the guitar bridge here and i'm just letting my hand flow up and down up and down. it's not coming from the elbow i've not got my hand off the guitar i've got this stability here just holding my hand onto the bridge here so and i'm going up down up down up down if you want to let's get in a little closer with this you can so we're going up down up down up down the hand's just rocking anchored here on the bridge, we can see that where that's just resting there. So it's actually, you can damp that bass string, which is a cool thing to do. So I'm going to go up, down, up, down, up, down. We're always starting on this 
upstroke, not the downstroke. Now, what this does, your hand will naturally have more weight and force behind it as it drops. Now, that helps us put the emphasis on the beat, and that's the start of this shuffle. Now, we've got this up, down, up, down. I'm not strumming here. Up, down, up, down. Now, you can count through this. You can count one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. But the important thing is adding an and to it. Sounds a bit weird, but that's what gives it the shuffle. So we go and one and two. So we're going to go and one and two and three and four. Can you see the and is on the upbeat and we're counting on the downbeat. So again, we could go and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four up down up down up down up down and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four repetition is the thing keep doing it we're not worried about this hand at all it's very important to get this rhythm, this lilting shuffle rhythm. And the key to it is that and, we start on that upstroke and, which is almost like the introduction, it's getting ready. We're gonna go and one and two and three and four. Now here's another thing, with the count, with most music that's got some sort of what we say beat to it, whether it's rock music, folk, jazz, blues, uh, it's got this sort of backbeat to it that has the emphasis on the two and four. That's what gives so much popular music, whatever sort of genre, its drive. <coughs> Excuse me. So... Um, they do say it's a Western thing that we, we, either, we either put the weight on one, two, three, four, or indeed put the weight on one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. You see that? One, two, three, four. It's a very sort of marchy, square, stiff sound. But if we put the emphasis on the two and four, one, two, three, four, and one, two two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. It already starts sounding a lot more rootsy, soulful, like it's got some feeling to it. You add that and, that's the backbeat thing that's going on, and you actually have a decent rhythm that you can build on. You know, <coughs> and as Sun House says, it's all about the rhythm, boy. You gotta have that rhythm. So the two things, the and one is and two and three and four. So the emphasis is on the downstroke and one and two and three and four. So the emphasis is on two and four. You can hear it with drumming where it goes one and two and three and four and boom and chick and boom and chick we've got that boom chick we have the bass and snare or bass and cymbal bass and ch boom and ch and boom and chick and one and two okay so it's up so it's that and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and rest now we can add to that by just using one finger, second fret here on the middle string. Remember my guitar's tuned G, D, G, like most people will, will be tuned in. So the finger is gonna come down on the two and the four, those stressed beats. So we're gonna go and one and two and three and four. Get the rhythm going and one and two and three and four and one 
and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and off and on and off and on and off and on and off and on and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four okay let's rest so you see what was happening there we're starting this shuffle beat this walking bass is on the two and four now you can do exactly the same thing exactly the same pattern if you put a bar across here and we go one two three four five five frets put what we call a bar that's just a finger here see what i'm doing i'm just pinching between my finger and the thumb like that so that's the equivalent of this being back at the nut so where we were coming up open two open two we're doing the same thing so that's our open as it were with a bar at the five and we're going to go two up in the on the middle string we're going to go there off and on here off and I'm going to use this finger. You can use this finger. You can do whatever you want. Because obviously if you've got the slide on this finger, you've either got to rock your hand to do that or use your little finger. That's why I prefer to put the slide on my little finger. Keep these two fingers easy for doing that. Keep that slide out of the way. So we can do the same thing. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. And off and on, off and on off and on see um i hope you can see my finger there that's good off and on and one and two and three and four so that's that same pattern and through the course of the song we can go also up to the seventh fret one two three four five six seven you'll see the dots on the edge of the fretboard and on the fret fretboard itself you put the bar across there just a finger across see my hand's not touching here i'm not grabbing my hand like that i'm just pressing finger and thumb that should be enough your guitar strings the action should be low enough to enable you to do that if this isn't take a look at the guitar or get somebody to sort it or buy a decent guitar so by the way, you can do this on a fretless guitar as long as you've got the frets marked. It is just easier and cleaner sounding with a fretted guitar. But here we are at the seventh, exactly the same thing. I'll be coming up two frets, seven, eight, nine, in the middle. Up, sorry, off and on, off and on, and one and two and one and two and one and two and three and four you put all that together and you've got a full 12 bar blues so we're going back to this up down up down up down okay i'll play a sequence through and then you can see how the whole thing fits together and one and two and three and four and one and two and three I'm going to the fifth fret one and two and three and then back to the open off and on open on off and on then we're going to go to the seventh and do the same thing and go to five and then back to the open, off and on and off and on and off. Oops. To finish that off. Okay, so get this shuffle going. Go slow. Don't, you know, it, just go faster won't help you. Work up to it. Go nice and slow. Up, down, up, down, up, down. Remember, that's the key to it. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Emphasis is on the down beat. And the emphasis is also on the two and four to give you that nice bluesy shuffle sound. 
I hope that might have been a little bit of a help. Um, if you're playing alone and you're not used to this sort of thing, it can be very difficult. So what I'd like to, if you haven't got the hang of it, what I want to try and get you away from is this. This down and up strumming. One, two, three, four. It's, it's not good. <coughs> what I want to try and get you away from is this even. That's not the blues. The only blues that will co cause is anybody hearing it. Um, and just thinking, Jesus Christ, stop doing that. But once you get the the lilt, the shuffle in this, you go and one and two and three and four. You see, I'm slowing everything slow down from that up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down caper. Ditch that. You know, also this up, down, up, down, up, down. A lot of people are doing this using the whole arm. No, 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 no. You don't want to do that. Contr it's all about control. Wind it all back. Try and relax a little bit. Put your hand in the right position. You're not going to flail it around. You're not going to be doing the... You're not Pete Townsend. That's all for show, that. Up, down. Up, down. Nice and steady. Up, down. And one. And two. And three. And four. Once you're ready for that, get that established. We can start in with our other hand. And one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. You see, I was only adding a tiny bit of slide to that to get to sound cool. So, remember, don't use your whole arm to do this. Control it a little bit. And the key is up, down, up, down, and one, and two. So before you start anything, you start it with an and. And one, and two, and three, and four. I can't repeat that enough, I'm afraid. So I will keep repeating it. And one, and two, and three, and four. And one, and two, and three, and four. And one. And one, and two, and three, and four. And one, and two, and three, and four. If you find it's going too fast, slow it right, right, right the way down. And one, and two, and three, and four and one and two and three and four you're not going to get it until you're comfortable with it so don't try overplaying too fast doing too much this is the bedrock of everything that you're going to learn on the cigar box guitar if you want to play blues okay i hope that helps i'm going to be coming back with more and more stuff so uh keep checking us out on YouTube. Bye for now.